as I go into the church today, the only amount of money that I'm willing to lose is 900 rand. As long as I know that if I take a loss, it's what I want to lose, I'm fine. We are currently in these trades, 300 and One trade is out here. And we're getting, staying here, you will get less, but people fix it. What's good, everybody? It's your boy. Let's speak with another video today is Thursday and it's another beautiful day that the Lord has made and I'm so 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 happy that uh, I get to worship God today I'm excited that I get to take you through my day again uh, yesterday as you saw by the video uh, yesterday didn't trade because I had a messed up trading day on Tuesday where I lost like over 2k and combined of all my accounts I lost quite a lot but yeah today is gonna be great today is gonna be amazing I took the break that I was supposed to take yesterday and I spent time in prayer a lot and now my mind is back I'm back I'm back to following the rules I'm back to to following the plan I'm back to trading the plan you know so that's what we're gonna try and do today trade the plan uh one thing i read a few days ago is that <clears throat> it's not it's not even something i read it's something i had to say instead of saying to yourself when you're about to do something that you don't want to do right instead of saying instead of just jumping and doing it say okay i'm gonna do it just postpone it you say I'm gonna do it tomorrow, or maybe you say, okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it the next few minutes. For now, I just need to focus on something else, right? Whenever you feel like, okay, now I'm about to be in discipline, so okay, ah, it's fine. Since you know it's your habit, you know you you fall into that for, like you fall into that easily, like it's that sin that easily entangles according to the Bible, right? Just tell yourself, okay, it's fine. I embrace you. I feel you. I understand you. But I'm going to do it a bit, a bit later, not now. For now, I need to focus on something else. And the moment you start focusing on that other thing, ignoring this thing that is saying, do me, do me, do me, do me, yet you know you're not supposed to do it. The moment you do that, you are sucking the energy out of it. You are sucking the power out of it. You are sucking the strength out of it. Remember, whatever you feed grows. So when you say when you say to, to your negative habits, I'm going to do it, just not now. Uh, for now, I need to focus on this. Okay, I'm going to be in discipline, just not now. But for now, I need to do this something else. You know, it's just something that I don't know whether it's easy to implement or not. But I'm going to be trying uh, to implement such kind of a mind to say, okay, I know I fall into uh, indiscipline quite easily sometimes. So I'll be, whenever I feel like I should do something that I'm not supposed to do, like whenever I feel like I should be putting a lot uh 1.5 or i want to put lot two you know i should just say okay i'm gonna do that just not now for now we stick to the rules for now we do this you know yeah that's a way of graciously or gracefully letting go or sucking the energy out of negative habits right now i have my bible with me yesterday during prayer i i was drawn to the book of uh luke and there is particularly this one verse that is still in my mind that I need to start studying right now. now see you during the day. I might not vlog again until the time I start trading. I don't want my vlogs to be too long. But yeah, so I might not vlog again up until then. Uh, for now, let me just read the Bible and pray. This is part one of my day. I'm reading this scripture, right? Uh, I want to be quick. As I'm reading this scripture, I'm realizing how people back in the days were so spiritual, bro. Like, everything about their lives was spiritual. They took spirituality so seriously. Whether it was the negative side of their spirituality, maybe it's about demons, about whatever. They were so serious about it. You know, they were so, 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 so concerned about thing, how things were spiritually. And every time the Spirit of the Lord came upon somebody, that person was either given power to prophesy or something great happened when the spirit of god came upon them and i'm coming to realize that 
this same spirit that would come upon them and they start prophesying and whatever they prophesied came to pass the same spirit of god he doesn't have to come upon me he's in me he lives inside of me so i have the power to prophesy at any time as a child of god i have the power to open up my mouth right now and say in the name of jesus any arrow set to destroy my family any arrow set to destroy my daughter any arrow set to destroy my future any arrow set to put me down it shall come to nothing in the name of jesus i decree forward ever upward ever i'm not going back i'm not going down in the name of jesus that which was said before the foundation of time it will come to pass that which the lord declared about my existence that which the lord spoke about my existence it is coming to pass in the name of jesus i shall show for the glory of the lord i arise right now and i shine for the glory of the lord is risen upon me and my light has come in the name of jesus christ it was in the beginning so let it be now Brothers and sisters, he said he must reign till all his enemies are made his footstool. He's reigning through us. He's reigning through me. He's reigning through you. And he will continue reigning until all his enemies are made his footstool. He's doing that through us. He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. Amen. Yeah. Now it's time for monopoly. We are going to play monopoly right now. I mean, I thought I was saying. He has passed begin already. Let him collect his two hundred. <laughs> 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 Nani Two. Three. 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 Today I got finished, but it's good because right now it's like 30 minutes before uh, my trading time, and I just need to get ready. As I go into the charts today, the only amount of money that I'm willing to lose is 900 rand, and that means sticking to the plan. Today I'm gonna be trading from my room and on my laptop. So um, first things first, this is the daily time frame, and I can see that yesterday we closed the candle a uh, bit bullish as you can see over here okay it should be like this yesterday we closed the day bullish like you can see over here and this is the hard of previous day this is the load of previous day and we are coming out of this favorite gap over here right there you can see that's where we're coming from so on the hourly time frame when you look at this this is the how the previous day over there and right above the high of the previous day we've got this order block here and this favorite gap which i think is the overall draw on liquidity and like price will be gravitating towards that but the question is what do i think is gonna happen prior to that and uh we've got this buy side liquidity this is the high of the previous day this is my buy side liquidity I've got this order block, this bullish order block, and I've got the favor gap in between. So this will be the area probably the price is gonna drop to. I price my drop into this area here. This is only favorite gap, and then push all the way up. I don't know. We are currently in these trades 300 and something land in profit, and this is the trade that is running and i took it based on 
uh, the fact that price was supposed to come back down into this uh, gap over there right and on the five minute you can see the gap on top of my board price pushed all the way up came back into this gap right and that's what i was expecting uh i expected price to start pushing back up from this area my buy was there my stop right below this low here and now my expectation is for price to keep pushing up we just broke above this this area here and i'll see if i will find an opportunity to scale in right yeah so yeah i just left i haven't left yet i'm still in my room but i i'm just gonna leave the trades running uh and see where they will be when i come back uh into my room maybe when i come back i will have taken a loss or i would have taken some good profits so i'm just gonna leave it right now come see it later Daddy, that wants to put money <laughs> did you win that yes you won hey <laughs> Okay, how does it feel to win that? <laughs> yeah, I've not yet won until Bunny is here, <laughs> until Snooky is here, until uh, who? Sharon. Sharon is here. Uh, you mean today was was what? You oh, were... but, uh, this was hey, the longest. This game is like ever. five hours of, of this yeah. game. <laughs> so yeah, um, I have my trades on. The price is just not moving. At the moment i don't know what's happening but i just want to take my eyes off the charts as long as long as i know that if i take a loss it's what i want to lose i'm fine that's what that matters that's all that matters to me right now the fact that if i take a loss i'm willing to lose it that's what matters to me right now whether i make money or i don't make money it doesn't matter the fact that if i lose i'm losing not more than 900 that's all that i care about it leaves me like feeling better you know so let's go see what's happening right now because of course i might say that and then when i go there price is just crazy low oh yeah actually currently in profit like some more profits than i was in when i left price is shooting high man so yeah we might we might get stopped out of the trade or by now we are already out i think we almost got stopped out of the trade i think other accounts are already out i think some accounts are out already by now uh, one trade is out here let's see for today I don't know how that happened. 200 rand. Uh, one up. One trade is out for 200 rand. And let's see this one. One account I'm still in bot trades. Uh, it was not taken out. One account I'm still in. Actually, two accounts I'm in trades. But this account was almost wiped. This account was almost taken out. I'm about to be taken out of both trades as you can see okay. losing a total of 500 I'm out uh, this one I'm out this one out so I just closed the loss of 567 on this account 429 on this account 190 almost 6, 600 on this account which is still within the range and yes there are possibilities that price will still continue to push up there are possibilities of that but we tried it so whatever we got out of it that's okay now uh, we took the loss we have to accept it as it is um, as long as we traded within the the limit and the range that's all that matters to me right now it's not about how i feel it's not about uh, anything you know, it's not about how i feel about the trades because if i if i want to use how i feel about the trades right now um, i'm gonna go back and try to make the money back you know that's that's just what's gonna happen if i want to use how i'm feeling 
but analytically uh, uh, speculatively uh, an observer okay that's it I, I had a good try of a trade we did go my way to some extent but we didn't go to the areas which I wanted to go to and I'm okay with that today was a profitable day and I'm very grateful for it but it's a different kind of closing of this uh, going into this day I already made up my mind that I don't want to use anything more than 900 grand right and that's exactly what is happening right now uh, this area was a good area for me to see price push up and it didn't push up now we currently we're probably coming down to this area here probably coming down to this area here my mind was so fixated on uh, longing because I expected price to come take out the buy side uh, and when I, when I look at it like when I look at price uh, from the perspective of the low and the high of the previous day I can see that I was in premium price range so I probably uh, should have also considered the possibilities of price pushing down but uh, I think longing it from this area was also a good idea this also looks like red market relationship return to favor again yeah, i did mention something like that uh this looks like uh rate of buy side liquidity market relationship below this and this was a nice area to start shorting from uh right there that was a possibility and it could have been something like this so there stop right about this high target the targeting area would have been below these areas uh, which is currently happening the drop is currently happening but do i i don't think it was really that much of an obvious thing to say i missed it because also price coming down to this area to shoot high was also a possibility so kind of fair uh, it's a good good trading day for the day uh, so this makes up like a total loss of three days uh, for the week uh, today was my third trading day and I don't know if tomorrow I'm gonna trade but today was a good a good day today was a good day it was a good day perfect day I love how I, I traded I love how I manage my emotions throughout I love the fact that I didn't move out of my push my stop losses to certain areas prematurely i just love everything how i managed the trade and everything just that i did in today's trades i love it um i think it was a good a good trade it just didn't work out the way i expected it to work out which usually it can happen you know but it was a good uh beautiful trade i scaled in when I, at the right time into the trade um everything was was quite perfect for a trade uh, i'm happy i'm happy with how i traded today and yeah price is pushing down yes this looks like a nice market structure shift to further the gap return is rejecting off of that i just didn't open my mind up to so many uh, options of this trade i didn't open my mind up to so many options but this was a good option also like to kind of like uh, look for shorts right this was also a good option price uh, so um i'm happy if you have watched through this one make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you like make sure you share make sure you comment and see you in the next video this was a good trading day lost properly everything was nice everything was nice so tomorrow we go we go again uh on a friday tomorrow we go again as long as we stay within our trading limits and trading uh zones as long as we stay within the the specified limitations according to my trading plan then there's nothing to worry about if i continue risking the amount of money that i'm risking right now for the kind of trades uh, that i'm taking i think it will be good we can come back to break even on all the accounts so i'm quite happy with today's trades it feels a lot like a win like, like it feels a lot like i made money today because i followed the discipline and one of the things that were in my head while i was trading is uh i don't care about how i'm feeling you know i don't care about whether i'm feeling 
anxious i don't care about those, those feelings all i care about is that i am following the plan that's all i care about as long as i am following the plan i'm fine i think part of the trading uh, strategy that i didn't follow is the fact that when we are in premium i'm looking for shorting opportunity that's the only thing that i didn't follow because i'm still quite bullish with the way the markets are are showing up you know every day i'm still quite bullish but we are in all-time highs so i think i should now change my mindset to maybe looking for shooting opportunities more than i look for longing opportunities but apart from the fact that i i looked for longs in a premium price range everything else that i did was perfect i am happy that the comeback was great this was a great comeback uh, i'm proud of myself i'm happy about what i did today i'm happy about the patience that i gave to the trades that i tried to be in i'm just happy about everything man. uh this was great this was great this was great see you guys